Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Chewbacca 3 d and today we are going to learn how to make a Minecraft server. It's pretty much the same basics and principles with Bucket and Spigot, but if you want me to make a, another video on how to do those, you just let me know. So okay, we're going to get straight into this. You're going to want to go to your web browser. I'm using Google, 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 Google Chrome. Now you're going to want to go to where you're typing and hit Minecraft. Well, type in minecraft.net you're going to want to go over here and hit the three dots or three lines or whatever and you're going to want to go to downloads and you're going to want to scroll down where it says play with your friends you're going to want to hit set up your own minecraft server now you're going to want to hit download minecraft server 1.10.2.jar and it will download and it will be like it's a bug it's okay you can keep it and and then I already have it, but you would drag it to your desktop. So now that it's on your desktop, you have it right here. You're going to want to hit new file and make it, you can name it whatever you want, best server. Alright, you're going to want to drag your Minecraft server jar file into best server, or whatever you call it. You're going to want to open text edit. There's many ways to open text edit, but I am doing it from applications. You're going to want to make it a plain text from format, make it plain text. You're going to want to paste this into it. I will leave a link in the description, copy and paste it into here. And you're going to want to go to file, is it file? Yeah, save. And you're going to want to call it start.command. Don't mess with that and make sure it's on desktop. Hit save. Now it's saved onto your desktop and it should pop up right here. So, okay, so now it's right here. So you're going to want to go into terminal now. Again, many ways to open terminal. I'm going through here. You want to double click on this and it will come up with this stuff. So now you're going to want to type in chmod space a plus x space. You want to drag your start dot command into here and hit enter, and it should just come in, come up with some random stuff. And you can X out of that. You can go into your Minecraft server and drag the start dot command into here. You can clean it up, clean it up. You're going to want to now click on your Minecraft server, and it should come up with logs. And it can take a while, maybe a five seconds or so. And you see that the jar of a just open so now it's coming up with these properties you're going to want to go into this and open with text edit you're going to want to go over here and delete false and type in true it I, it has something to do with the files you're going to want to hit save you can X out of that and then reopen your minecraft server like that and it, it can take a while so now the Java file just opened again so now behind you you have your server part so this can take a while it is gonna prepare the world we'll skip ahead when it's done all right now that your minecraft is open you're going to want to go to multiplayer and you should probably have random stuff on and you should come up you can hit refresh and you can hit add server and I think you can do local host for just you to join it, you can go down here and it should come up with a 20 player Minecraft server and you can join it. And if you do want your friends to come play it, I think you guys know how it rolls, but if you would like help, you can just ask me in the comments. You know how to do it. You go to whatsmyip.com or whatever and and then it should show you your, your IP. Well, I'm recording so it is very laggy right now. Though for you guys, and if you have a good computer, it should not be that laggy. But, just, I'm in like a ditch. Well, thanks for watching guys, and I hope this helped you so much. And, bye!